Kai Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to do a little bit of shopping in 14 karat. Let me show you the sign to turn it around. 14 karat. And they're a Whole Foods, uh, all natural food store. And it's really the biggest one anywhere in these parts. So we're going to go on in and see what they've got for today. Now, they're not busy in the morning, but they get real, real busy in the afternoon and especially after 5 o'clock. So we're going to go on in and see what we can find. I'm looking for flax seed, and I'm also looking for some quinoa. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we are in 14 karat now, and I wanted to show you this picture of Carter Breland. And uh, he and an, another gentleman started this 14 karat store. Now, he was diagnosed with cancer, and he ended up going on a microbiotic diet. And I remember my husband and I seeing him and his wife at a ball game one time, and he had lost all this weight. And we were asking him, oh, wow, how did you lose so much weight? And he went on a microbiotic diet. And I remember him talking about it was really hard because they had to chop up so many fruits and vegetables. So anyway, uh, he passed on, but he did live, uh, my understanding is an additional seven years, and he had a very uh, aggressive type cancer, but uh, he lived much, much longer than anyone expected him to. But anyway, he's the one and another person that uh, started this store and it's been here, I think, more than 20 years. So we're gonna have a look around now. All right, again, that's Carter Breland. All right, first of all, all the food in here is gonna be all natural, and the fruits and vegetables are gonna be all organic. Now, y'all know organic isn't perfect, and so you don't see these gigantic apples like I'm going to buy at the farmer's market in a little while, but the fact that it's all organic is wonderful. Now I am hoping they're going to have some shelled organic butter beans, and if they do, I'm going to get some of those. But the main reason I'm in here is for the uh, flax seed and the quinoa. All right, look at all these greens. There's kale, great looking kale. And of course the broccoli looks great too. And there are some red leaf cabbage back there. Now, I get these same carrots at the farmer's market. And let's see. They actually, I pay less than that. I think I can get 25 pounds for $12. But anyway, I get organic carrots. Just give you a look at all this now. The great thing is, in here, they also have meat, and this would be grass-fed meat. Look at all this dried stuff up here, isn't this great? This is a really good health food store. Now, if you go to a health food store, and, you know, it's in the mall, and they only serve vitamins, I mean, they only have vitamins and all those supplements, you need to really find you a store like this. Now, there's some raw milk. And of course, they've got the almond milk. That's exactly the kind that we use. All kinds of, look at this. Almond mozzarella style. Now, vegans really uh, come to this store and shop a lot, a lot. But it's great for people, even if you aren't vegan. All kinds of drinks. And here are the eggs. Now, my understanding is if you get this kind of egg, sometimes you can hatch them out into bitties. Isn't that unreal? But you can. Okay, all the wines. Now, here's the meat. Now, usually there's someone back here working, on, and they do cook meals during the week. And when you, oh, actually, even right now, it smells really, really good in here. All right. Here's all the meats and cheeses back there. Now, the meat that I'm familiar with, look at that back there, organic chicken. I'm sure that's free range. And also, 
I wanted to see if they have that sausage. They do. See that sausage right back there? It's called Butter Patch. Oh, it is so, so good. The problem is, it's like $7 a pound because the uh, pork is all grass-fed and uh, they're a certain breed. Now, those people are in, I'm trying to think what county they're in. Um, anyway, of course, the meat is packed in King Street, South Carolina, but the farm, I believe, is in Saluda County is what I remember. There's some more links. Anyway, all right, now we want to go and find the quinoa and the flax seeds. I'm thinking it's going to be around here. They have all kinds of uh, granola and all that kind of thing. Okay, these are the kind of bins you're looking for when you go into a health food store. And I think probably Whole Foods Market has that too. All right, I've got someone that's coming to talk to me. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, wait a minute. All right, I'm gonna get some of it. Okay, we are gonna get some of these red lentils. Now, I love lentils, but I don't, you can't buy the red ones in the grocery store. So I'm gonna get some of those. And uh, I don't really care for the split bees. They're kind of a, a thing that gives you gas, you know, pretty bad for most people. So I, don't, I usually stay away from the split peas. But I do like the lentils, so I'm going to get some uh, red lentils. And these are French lentils. And I'm not really familiar with those, so I'm not going to get those. So, now we're looking for the quinoa again. And um, here's some that's organic. Non, that's couscous. And uh, here's some of the black and the red. Now, my favorite is the red, so uh, I think I'm going to probably go ahead and get red again. And uh, the, the kind of tan colored kind I can buy in the grocery store. But the red, you can't buy in the grocery store, so I'm going to definitely get some of that. Alright, I'm going to get my lentils and my quinoa, and we'll be back. Alright, I had to show you this freezer case that's got all organic stuff spring rolls, pizza, meatless, pepperoni. I don't know how you do that, but anyway. All right, got even frozen pie crust, probably with whole wheat, gluten-free pie crust. Look at this. There's those pies. Oh, they look really, really good. Little frozen dinners. Okay, so I'm sure if you live in California, you can probably just go down to your local Whole Foods store and buy all this stuff. There's some vegetables that are all organic. Isn't that great? Organic berries. Look at that. True Whip, all natural. Isn't that something? 70% organic, no high fructose. All right, here's all the ice cream. Look at this, almond dream, rice dream, organic. I mean, it makes you hungry just to look at this, doesn't it? Look at that, coconut bliss. Mm -mm -mm. Strawberry love. All right. And here we are in the waffles. All kinds of waffles here. And then the breads. All kinds of breads. Muffins. Oh, they look good. Good, good, good. More breads. Now, we like the uh, soy bread a lot. We used to get that all the time. The hot dog rolls. Look at that. Ezekiel Hornan sesame. Cinnamon rolls. And that's the brand name apparently, Ezekiel Hornan. I haven't seen that before. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go pay for our stuff. I set mine on the floor right down there. And uh, 
Anyway, when we get back in the car, I'm going to tell you a little more about Carter Breland. Oh, those organic beans look so good. All right, all right now, in the store, they've got everything. I mean, this is like a real grocery store. Look at this, organic ketchup. Now, we used to get the mayonnaise there with the flax oil. That's what we used to get. And we also got some that was the ground up grape seed, but that, you have to keep that in the refrigerator, so it's over in the refrigerator section. So everything imaginable they have. Gabonzo beans, organic, of course, butter beans. Now I was hoping they would have some fresh shelled butter beans in here today, but they really didn't. So anyway, it's a pretty big store. And if you live in South Carolina, really anywhere within 50 miles of Lexington County, you could probably easily shop at this store. All right, there's the big refrigerator case. All right, we'll be back in a minute. I've got to go paper this stuff. Okay, I wanted to just um, make sure I had my facts right on Carter Breland. Uh, he actually lived 10 years past the uh, time that the doctors expected because he went on this uh, the uh, uh, macrobiotic diet. And I do remember when we talked to him, he... Uh, he, he was, uh, him and his wife were chopping up a lot of fruits and vegetables, that part I remember. We saw him at a ball game. But anyway, um, he lived just so much longer than doctors ever imagined. Uh, it, he, he did, the cancer did end up killing him, but it was many years later. Okay, now the 14 Carat puts out a monthly flyer. Let me see if I can show you that even buy one, get one free, and that kind of thing. Now, I did talk to the lady who was checking me out in there, and she told me that people come from North Carolina, Georgia, and all over South Carolina to this store. And she said they usually get pretty busy starting in the afternoon, and especially on the day that they have the produce uh, come in, and they usually have that at 30% uh, discount. So... Uh, I do know uh, we've been up here on that day and you can't find a parking place so I know that they get busy during that time but anyway if you can find a health food store that's like this one you need to frequent it because it's going to have almost everything that's going to be super healthy for you all right so today I bought some lentils I bought the quinoa and I did end up going back and getting some of the black because I thought it would look really pretty with white rice maybe and um, I also got the flax seed, which we've never used before. But my husband's doctor, every time he goes in for his yearly checkup, the doctor says, why don't you start using flax seed in your smoothie? So finally, after, you know, two or three years of him telling my husband that we're actually going to do it. So we'll see. I will actually film one of those when I do the flax seed. Okay, so that's the deal on 14 carat. And uh, they have been here for over 20 years. And I've been coming here, I'm going to say, for probably 10 years. I just like the name of it, too. All right. We'll see you next time. Okay. Here are the things I got from 14 Carat. I got some red lentils. I got some black quinoa. I got some red quinoa. And I got some flax seeds. And we're going to be able to grind this up and... Do like the uh, Lou said to do, uh, grind up part of it and put it in the refrigerator and start using it in smoothies. All right, there you go. Pretty good. I can't wait to try these. I'm sure they taste just like the regular gray colored lentils, but I think they'll be pretty with rice. All right, see you next time.